Toyota team got their season off to a flying start on home soil in Canberra. Close. Into slight left on press. 50. The flat jump. 150. With Harry and John leading the field, Lewis and Anthony ran into trouble running off the road in the slippery conditions. Three right minus movements, four plus of the heat. Stage five, we got caught out at about halfway through, left the road and yeah, definitely ruins our chances for the rally. Very pleased with our weekend. Uh, very, very happy to, to finally uh, take the win. Up on the calendar, the Forest Rally in Western Australia. Early mechanical drama for Lewis put the rally win out of reach. The best case scenario, we just had to leap round and yeah, minimise the damage that we did to the car underneath. But it wasn't all smooth sailing for Harry, having to fight to secure the win after car troubles and a puncture late in the rally. Late five, right over crest. Puncture, puncture. OK, uh, we're about halfway through. Yep. I said to John when we crossed the line, we worked for this one. So really, really happy and a massive thanks to the team and the Albert Motorsport. Well, we had a really tough preparation, but this one's definitely for them. On to round three in Tasmania. And with John sidelined due to COVID, legendary co-driver Coral Taylor jumped in to fill the role. More than a decade after her last ARC win with Harry and Lewis's father, Neil. Once again, Lewis was on the back foot with a puncture on stage one. We were trying to make up some time in stage three and had a bit of an off and um, hit a tree. Harry and Coral managed to secure the win with the Bates and Taylor combo returning to the top step. As soon as we crossed the line, it was just pure joy. Definitely a special one, I think. Uh, obviously, to have Coral in the car and, and do that with Coral after seeing she and Dad do that so many times was, uh, was a very special feeling for sure. Queensland's wild weather saw round four washed out, with road conditions too hazardous for the event to run. Really disappointing outcome for everyone, but the right decision was made from a road condition and safety point of view. The series got back on track though, with round five in Victoria. The brothers were off to a strong start, but for Harry and John, their event was derailed with a mechanical issue, bringing their winning streak to an end. It was unfortunate to see Harry and John stopped in the second stage this afternoon. You know, they've had a really good run, so it was sad to see, but, you know, we thoroughly enjoyed our day. The stages were amazing. It paved the way for Lewis and Anthony to win their first ever event in the Australian Rally Championship. Yeah, it was um, very overwhelming for both Anthony and I. It's our first ARC victory and um, massive congratulations to the whole team. We've, we've worked hard for this one. Round six, South Australia, and Lewis was leading the charge, taking an overnight lead into day two of the event. So far, so good. Anthony and I have been fastest on all three stages and we're leading. Um, so, yeah, it's all going well. We've found a good balance with the car and we're enjoying it. Harry and John's comeback was halted in dramatic fashion with an engine bay fire putting them out of contention. We were starting to actually work on building ourselves a bit of a lead, uh, but then developed, well, a loss of power initially, so a bit of an engine problem, and then that turned into a fire under the bonnet, so we had to stop and try and save the car. Lewis and Anthony continued their charge, claiming another rally victory, 
and incredibly, the championship lead, turning their fortunes around after a tough start to the year to lead the points just in time for the final event of the season off Saba. I'm especially proud this weekend that we were able to match Harry and John's pace and I think it gives us even more confidence and belief that they are beatable and that we can do it. Yeah, I guess it's not every day that our championship protagonists drive to the event together, but um, that's the cool thing about the other guy battling for the championship being your brother and your teammate. I just kept on going straight, buddy, because if we miss the turn, we're very disappointed. Mate, keep it going for a rock, because, yeah, yeah. No, I'm pretty sure you don't know. No, like I'm 90% sure. Yeah, no, you don't know. Harry and I drove up from Canberra on Tuesday. I think Harry and I get along extremely well. We're good mates outside of rallying and we probably don't talk about the situation that we're in at the moment too much. Don't you mind a classic that probably like a large percentage of tennis players wish they could be a race car driver? <laughs> yeah, and we're race car drivers who probably wish we could be professional <laughs> tennis players. <laughs> How are you travelling, Lulu? Oh yeah, that game took it out of me. I'm up though, so one game Big to go. match, important hold there for Lewis Bates. 5-3 in the first. Yeah, the 2022 season's definitely improved for Antti and I as each rally's gone on and um, it just keeps getting better and better. We've definitely got momentum on our side at the moment and it would be very special to get both titles. I've been, I guess, co-driving for 30 odd years now. It's always been, I guess, on my bucket list to, to win an ARC. Um, looking at Lewis and Harry's dad win one and Coral win one as well. So it'd be nice to, to be on that list. I make no secret of the fact that Lewis is one of my best friends, so yes, we're, uh, we're competitors this weekend, but we're also very good mates and, uh, you know, and, and brothers away from the track as well. So yeah, even though it's a unique situation this week and it's a, a little bit um, different maybe because, you know, the biggest prize in Australian rallying is on the line, uh, we're also still very much best mates and, and just hoping that, I guess, each, each other has a good event for sure. Yeah, it, it is amazing. You know, if you had a, look, had a look halfway through the year, you, you would have thought Harry would have had the championship wrapped up a couple of rounds ago, or you know, at least last round. And here we are now, going into the last round with Lewis having the upper hand. You know, his confidence has risen, you know, hugely. And if you have a look at South Australia, you know, it was his best, the best rally he's ever done, and he drove amazingly well. They'll go and do the rally, and you know, then they'll tally the points up at the end of the rally, and whoever's got the most will be the champion. We've both had strong seasons. Whoever wins on Sunday, I think we know that it can be something that we can all be proud of as a family, as a team. Uh, and from that point of view, I think that, um, yeah, either way, a good result beckons. The cool thing about rallying is there's not just one person in the car, there's two. Uh, and so you get to share the highs with that other person and you also get to share the lows. And I think that can really help you get through those tougher times. I've always really enjoyed the roads here. You know, they're, they're generally pretty friendly. They're quite smooth and quite flowing, um, really quite fast in places, particularly in between the junctions. You've got to keep it in the road. There's always something hiding in the tall grass next to the road, you've got to, you've got to make sure you keep it neat. Coffs is very tricky and it all just depends on the weather on the day. Uh, this weekend's looking to be very dry. 
um, very dusty. There's nothing worse than coming over a flat crest and <laughs> not being able to see what's on the other side. But it's always a, an event that has high attrition, so if you do finish here, you will finish well. This is Store Road. And I'll get the RS light up. The first pass, if you've got notes from previous years, um, as long as the road hasn't changed too much, the, for that first pass is, is generally, you know, just a, a check and you change a few things. And then the second pass is just a bonus, really. Caution. Into late for left plus. Move the caution to the jump exit The Copy. Everything's familiar. Um, but this time most of it's in different directions or different configurations so two passes, making new notes, checking, going over the video, doing a lot of hard work on making sure that they're all right. Six right. Thirty. Four left minus. Twenty. John unfortunately missed a round due to COVID, um, so Coral stepped in for Rally Tasmania, which means Anthony is in the box seat to take the Australian Co-Drivers Championship, which is super exciting for him. It's very handy to have a teammate like Anthony in the fold, and it's been really special to see not only Lewis winning his first ARCs and, and being in contention for his first championship, but also Anthony as well. The main thing is just having another co-driver who's so competent and so relaxed and you know, on top of what he's doing to be able to compare notes and, you know, he's obviously very, very good at what he does and um, if I can't win the championship as a co-driver then, you know, I'm, I'm just thrilled to bits if, if it comes off for him this weekend. I'm good. No, a bit less sweet. Maybe an Anzac Vicky or something. Thank you. As it sits, it's all very close, but um, yeah, we're, I think it's about keeping your nose clean. So we're keeping our noses clean. We'll keep pushing on. Um, as you said, Neary up next. It's, it's known to be um, a bit of a car killer and people have gone off there plenty of times in the past. So yeah, I think um, when the road's smooth, I'm pushing hard, but when, when it starts getting rough and tricky, I'm probably backing off a little bit too much, and I think the times show that, but in saying that, we're not in a bad position, so we just have to keep strong. And the stages this afternoon are pretty tough, to be honest, so we're gonna have to, to you know, stay attentive and, and stay focused. Hopefully everyone can enjoy uh, a little spectator stage, but um, to be honest, that's not the one we're all worried about. We're worried about Neary because uh, it's, a, it's a tough stage. Five right, 50. 
30. Okay, late three left in on crest 30. Short by right plus, slight left 50 care, Humpies, four left minus into three right plus opens half long 30. Short three left narrow, two right and three minus. Narrow tight and three minus is short three right plus 20. Small hump three left plus into small hump in the long five right minus 120. Breaking slight left on small press 20 long three right plus. I think, yeah, John and I just settled into a really nice rhythm and we were able to um, to end the day with a lead, which was always the goal. So um, I've got a lot of work to do tonight to make sure we're prepared for tomorrow. This afternoon, we had to really up our pace, to be honest. Um, sort of in the middle of the day, Nathan Quinn uh, got a bit closer to us than we would like and managed to beat us on a couple of stages. So I just wanted to really try and make sure we had the overnight lead. Uh, so yeah, push very hard through Neary second pass. There were some huge jumps and really rough sections. Um, but uh, yeah, to do a time like that, you sort of have to throw caution to the wind a little bit. The scenario is that I have to win this rally to win the championship. And at the moment we're in that position, but only just. So we're gonna have to keep pushing and, and making sure that we're uh, still winning stages and, and still sort of going for that number one spot at the end of the rally. Yeah, it's been a long challenging day. I feel like Today was about survival and I'm surprised how many cars actually did survive because it was incredibly rough on both car, driver, co-driver, everything. So um, yeah, everyone's done a good job. We're sitting in third position and we're happy to be here without any issues. We'll have a look at the onboards tonight and see what we, what we think about today. But I think overall the GR Yaris was really good. So I'm happy with it. Hopefully we can go into tomorrow with a bit more confidence and um, see where we end up. happened in the water splash there's a water splash in there like a pretty aggressive one must happen in there it's all a bit nerve-wracking to be honest now <laughs> well because I've only got 14 over, thank you 14 over Quinny and then even if I do stay ahead of him I have to be lost in the power stage so yep. wow. big afternoon That's coming up pretty crazy, yeah well, anyway yeah it's a critical time of the rally I know it's Isn't such it just? a fine line yep Make or break. And you'd love it if they were like easy stages to go back out to, yeah, but no. no. All good? Yeah. Did yours miss through the water spot? Yeah. 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 So well, Paris. Yeah. A couple of seconds, but yeah. cut out and carried on for the next couple of corners. Corners, yeah, Harry did the same. Yeah. 
Winnie's just fast everywhere here. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I'm ahead of him by 14. He's doing an incredible job. Like, I'm. No, he got me by four in there. Yeah. Pressure as rallying gets.
Put your hands together, everyone. Great team result there. Manufacturers, champions for 2022. Put your hands together. Your champions, Lewis Bates and Andy McLaughlin. <laughs> Initially I was just hoping that John was okay. I knew I was okay, I could feel that I was okay. I wanted to make sure John was okay and um, yeah, it was pretty clear straight away that he'd been knocked around. So my first concern was with him. Um, you know, probably the first accident I've had in a long time where I haven't even bothered to pick up first gear and restart the car. Uh, I just knew it was a big one and that we were in a little bit of trouble. Look, I, the boys were watching the split times and then it would, you know, the, last, the, the last split came up in the stage and then I kept going, is he finished yet, is he finished? No, 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 not yet. And I'm thinking, well, that should be through by now. So then I actually walked over to Abby from Rally Sofas. Um, Harry pressed the SOS, so I knew straight away that they had a crash and he pressed SOS and, and that's when I rang Harry and, and he said it was really big and, you know, John's you know, got concussion. So definitely a mistake on my part. Um, just came around a long right hand corner that tightened and I picked up the throttle just a little bit before the apex where it tightened and as soon as I turned in and it tightened I realised that I'd missed the apex by about half a metre. Uh, and at those speeds half a metre is, half a metre offline is, you know, critical. Uh, and yeah, before I knew it, we were wide off the road and, and into the trees. First accident for me, uh, for John and I actually, first accident since uh, April of 2018 in Rally Western Australia. So from that point of view, I'm pretty pleased that we've, you know, been driving as fast as we have for as long as we have without, uh, without anything major happening. It was a tough afternoon for the whole team, I think, because on one hand you had John and I out in the bush uh, having had a pretty big accident. Uh, and on the other side of the scenario, you had Lewis and Anthony storming to their first Australian title together. So um, yeah, was, I, I think the emotions were a bit all over the place and no one quite knew how to feel. One thing we're very big on at NBM is that we don't sacrifice safety for weight ever. So obviously we take the car, we put the FIA spec safety cage into it. Then we've got doors that have 60 litres of uh, impact absorbent foam in them. We've got uh, foam connected to our seats in multiple areas to ensure that if there's any, anything like a head impact or anything that even looks remotely close to that, there's extra absorbent foam there to protect us. Um, our helmets are the latest spec. They were new for this season. Um, we wear hands devices to protect our necks. So it's probably the part that gets looked over when we're talking about the performance of these cars. And we don't often talk about how much safety goes into them, but um, you know, when things go wrong, like it did for us on Sunday, it's uh, nice to know just how safe they truly are. When I was six years old in 2003, I wrote down my dream, what I wanted to do when I was older. Um, and one of those dreams was to win the Australian Rally Championship. And I can officially say this year I've ticked that off, which is um, pretty cool. Yeah, it's everything I thought it would be and better, to be honest. I think both Anthony and I spoke about how we lost concentration with about three corners to go. We weren't really thinking about what we were doing. We were just thinking about getting across the finish line. And yeah, it's just an amazing feeling and literally the whole team, friends and family were there. It was a um, pretty amazing feeling and something that we'll remember for a long time. These are very special moments in life and they're your most important people in life. So to, to share it with them at the end was really, really nice. 
you always want to win your national championship. And you know, when I first started rallying, that was I looked up to people like Neil and and Possum Bourne and those sort of guys and and Coral and looked at them winning championships and thought to myself, well, one day that'd be really cool. And you know, today's the day. Obviously, very proud of what Lewis has done. You know, he. He prepares his own car, he works incredibly hard. Not too many people in Australia, or the world even, work and fabricate on their own car. And I think that's always been a bit shadowed by the big works team as such. But, you know, it's pretty special for a mechanic to drive his own car and win an Australian championship. So I think that's pretty special. It was, I think, a big moment for him as well to have now two sons, Australian rally champions. Um, I don't think it's something he would have ever dreamt of and um, you know to have himself and then both Harry and I now on the Possum Bourne Trophy it's it's pretty special for him. Well, yeah I'm not really sure that that has fully sunk in yet um, you know I'm just incredibly happy for Laws winning the championship but uh, yeah to have um, the three of us with our names on that trophy is obviously very very special and um, yeah uh, very proud. It's been an incredible journey this year and you know just this weekend we worked hard, we kept it clean and came away came away with the championship so it all went to plan. Yeah it's definitely started to sink in. I guess the first couple of days I didn't really know what to think or, or say or anything anything of the above but um, it's definitely sunk in now and it's just um, yeah it's really nice feeling to look back on and um, reflect on the year and it's something that Auntie and I will now carry with us for the rest of our lives. For more videos like this, click here. And to subscribe to the Toyota Australia YouTube channel, click here. Oh, what a feeling. Toyota.